Okay, so mix flip, what is it? Essentially you're able to upload a mix and you should be able to get back all the list of songs within that mix, individual songs along with the Spotify link. So that's essentially what we're gonna be trying to do and you'll be able to hook up your Spotify and it'll be able to create a, a playlist of those songs as well. Now, in our previous video, we were able to upload a singular song and be able to have ACR Cloud identify it. This time we're trying to upload a mix and make sure that it's able to give us back the correct songs that are within the mix, all the individual songs of that mix. So with that being said, uh, let's go right into some coding and try to figure stuff out. <laughs> that is the setup that we will be running. So I'll have my main you know, code, whatever it may be here, and I can do my research on the side. Uh, and yeah, I think it looks really, really good to be honest. chicken should be good yeah this is how it looks like so we have, a, we have a bagel cream cheese and then i got the rotisserie chicken with some relish relish and some chipotle sauce Bomb. Well, um, it doesn't look pretty but gets the job done you know gotta get the protein and then we just got some carbs and some calories right so and some tnf he's the he's the goat this guy right here t and f goat How does polling work? Okay, so I'm gonna show you one example of a real life example of how polling would work. Now, this is short polling, and then there's long polling as well. I'm gonna show you an example of both, but first, let's go ahead and do short. Let's say you're at a restaurant, right? His name is Ben. Now, Ben already placed his order, wanted a Caesar salad, okay? He sees a waiter walking around, la 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 la, and then he asks the waiter, uh, is my Caesar salad done yet? The waiter then says, well, let me check that for you. Let me ask the chef. Let me ask the chef. The waiter then goes to the back, calls back room, here's a chef. It's such a bad drawing, but chef. <laughs> okay, so now the waiter is gonna go and ask the chef, la 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 la, hey, is Ben Caesar salad finished yet? The chef says no. So she goes back, la 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 la, tells Ben, it's not finished yet. Then she goes on her way, you know, then she goes on her way and she spends another minute doing a task. Comes back, Ben asks again, is it done? She says, let me check that for you. Goes back to the chef, is the Caesar salad done yet? The chef says, yeah, it's finished, take it. So she then takes it, and delivers it to Ben. That's kind of like an example of how short polling is. So you can think of it as, in this case, a person constantly having to ask the waiter, hey, is my order finished yet? Or, hey, is my Caesar salad finished yet? And she has to go back to the chef, in this case, see if it's ready, but it's not. So then she has to go back to the client again, which is Ben, and say, hey, your food's not ready. So think of it as short interval, short intervals. So the way that you can think of it is short intervals of asking if a task is finished yet. Pop in here and quickly explain to everyone what is happening and what I was able to get done, which I did not record. I just did some of it on my own. I, I did uh, introduce polling to you guys and introduce what polling was. Essentially, I'm gonna explain the code, the new code that I wrote, and obviously why. So we go into controller here. You can now see that when you go ahead and upload a song, obviously you have to give it the file, which is the MP3 file that we provide, and a file name. We then go into this function called upload and poll. So we go into get. So we go into this function called get ID. And what this does is that it uploads that file to ACR Cloud and it returns us back the ID that ACR will give us to identify that particular mix. So we get the ID back. Let's head back over. Okay. Then we go into short polling in this case. Okay. Essentially what's happening is that is ACR Cloud finished processing this mix? So we go straight into the poll, which is right here. Okay. So the first thing that we do is that we check to see 
if we have gone past our max retry count. If we have, we simply say that we've reached the maximum and we return, right? We shut down the polling. If we haven't, what we do is that we make a call to ACR Cloud to check to see if ACR Cloud is finishing processing this data. If so, we're going to go ahead and uh, go into the response and check to see if the result is null. If it's not null, meaning that ACR Cloud was able to give us back the list of songs, we go ahead and extract only the music details that we want from that JSON, right? So in this case, right here, as you guys can see, is the Drake song. We only have the name, ID, uh, the artist name, and Spotify, right? That's literally it. That's all the data we want. Instead of having this long data, right? We don't need all this information. So we extract only the information that we want from the JSON, okay? Now, let's say the results were null. What will happen is that will increase our retry count, okay? And we'll go through back to polling again. It'll wait five seconds. After five seconds is finished, it'll make that call to the API once again. So on and so forth until we reach our maximum amount of retries. Then it shuts down completely. So yeah, that's essentially how it works. Hopefully that kind of makes sense on what polling actually is. Just think about it as you, know, you make a call to an API and the, and the API is not ready to give you the data yet, right? Maybe it's still processing. So you have to wait another five seconds, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 15, even more, right? And then you make another call again, and then it finally re returns back to you that data. That's essentially what polling is. All right, got chicken teriyaki with some rice, broccoli, three eggs, cucumber, and some tomatoes. Let's eat it. Oops. One of the things that we certainly have to do is we have to implement a front end. I think that will be the next step because we're able to already upload the mix and be able to get a list of songs back. So now I think we should get started on some other front end so we can start implementing OAuth and being able to connect to your Spotify. Um, so I think that's the next step and I think that's what we're going to go for. But I also do want to hit up a cafe to get some work done and drink some nice coffee. Thank <laughs> you.